Welcome back to Trust the Nose with the man Alasa Smogan. I hope you're well, in good health, and of course, smelling great, smelling tanta moisin. Just smelling. So, we've got Frank Olivier's Oud Touch. I'm just going to give you some quick thoughts here. I'm not going to keep you here for too long. I'm ready. I hope you're ready. So, let's go. I'm going to say this now. If you don't like Oud, you will not like this fragrance. So, you might as well just forget it. Move on to the next video, move on to the next fragrance. It's not going to be for you. So for all the people that stayed, so Oud Touch, I'm not going to spray it on skin today. Oud Touch is basically a Oud Rose combination. But here, it's got this like very like harsh opening. So you get this harsh powdery rose in the start and then you get this woody synthetic Oud, which is not skanky, alumalic, fecal, etc, etc. Um, a probably like a dying question you've got to ask or you must be thinking right now is like oh does it smell like Oud Isfahan by Dior it does it does smell like Oud Isfahan but I can't do a side by side comparison right now because I don't have a sample of Oud Isfahan but when I've smelt them together they do smell alike but this is just way more synthetic this is a very very bold fragrance and the performance is beast mode and for me personally it's like I never go nose blind to this fragrance. Like literally, spray it on in the morning, uh, told you beast mode performance, come back in the evening now, I can still smell it, it just never dis disappears, which is good. Um, so because it's so bold and because it's oud, it's quite decisive to like other people. So like I said, if those, if someone that's smelling you likes oud and they smell it on you, they'll probably appreciate it. But the majority of people that live in London, they're not really into ouds like that. But I had like one positive like reaction. I've actually only got like one reaction to it ever. And I've only ever worn this for like, I've had this for a year, but I've only worn it like seven times. So yeah, I was just like a trainee guy at work. He, um, he didn't even know I was into perfumes. He was just asking me what I was wearing. Like he was just like interested. I just told him about like Frank Olivia's Oud Touch. But anyway, yeah, so bold, one way, if you just want to make a statement, if you just want to have like a lot of presence around you, whatever, this is the fragrance for you. Um, I would say that because it's so cheap, it's like under 18 pounds. This could be like a signature scent, but it's just very, very like unique smelling. So people will know it's you straight away because no one really smells like this. Unless they're wearing like Oud um, Ispahan by Dior, no one really smells like this or unless they're wearing Frank Olivia's Oud Touch. Um, so you know me, I like to do my market research and I did market research on this one, yeah? So majority of you lot said that this is worth it, like you actually like the smell. But when I've like asked my fragrance people, like these are like proper fragrance purists, yeah? Proper Oud lovers as well. They're a bit 50-50, yeah? So some guys that love Oud Hispahan, but they hate this, they are just like, nah, it's, it's not good, it's way too synthetic. But other people that are like, they love Oud Hispahan, and they love this, they're just like, yeah, it's worth it. So me personally, I think that with this fragrance, it's hard to get a sample. So I'll just say, it's worth the risk. Go and do it, fuck it, go and do it, take the risk. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, then fair enough. And it's one of those fragrances as well, I forgot to say that one way you can just like layer it with something. So right now, um, I hardly ever wear this by itself. I just layer it with another fragrance, for example, like Penhaligon's um, Monsieur Beauregard. But yeah, so that was my take on Frank Olivier's Oud Touch. I would just say it's okay. I don't really wear it a lot. I've had it for a year and I've only ever worn it like seven times, but it's okay, it's worth the risk and I don't mind having it in my collection. So, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'd be much appreciated. Also, follow me on Twitter. Twitter? <laughs> follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok, Trust in Nose. And my Twitter is Trust in Nose as well, so follow me on Twitter too. And you know what I'm gonna say, more videos out soon. And of course, stay blessed.